The food chain. One animal's food is another animal's worst nightmare. Living things cannot survive without food. Food gives living things energy. The food chain describes what we what eats what in the wild. It shows how animals are connected to one another in a particular ecosystem. This could be a forest, grassland, ocean, or any other area in nature. Producers and consumers. Living things in food chains are grouped into categories. These are called trophic levels. These levels are roughly divided into three groups. There are producers. This is the first trophic level. Then there are consumers. They make up the second, third, and fourth trophic levels. Finally, there are decomposers. Producers are known as autotrophs. These make their own food. They make up the first level of every food chain. Autotrophs are often plants. Nearly all autotrophs use photosynthesis to make food. They must combine sunlight, air, soil, and water. This creates glucose, a nutrient used as food. Plants are the most common type of autotroph. Still, there are many other kinds. Algae is one. Larger algae are what we call seaweed. Phytoplankton are tiny organisms in the ocean. They are autotrophs too. The second trophic level features organisms that eat the producers. These are called primary consumers, or, or herbivores. Deer, turtles, and many types of birds are herbivores. Secondary consumers eat the herbivores. Tertiary consumers eat the secondary consumers. There may be more levels of consumers before a chain finally reaches its top, the apex predator. Apex predators eat other consumers. Consumers can be carnivores, meaning they eat other animals. They can also be omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. Omnivores consume many types of foods. People are omnivores. We eat plants, such as vegetables and fruits. We also eat animals and animal products, such as meat, milk, and eggs. Finally, there are detritivores and decomposers. Detritivores are organisms that eat non-living plant and animal remains. For example, vultures eat dead animals. Dung beetles eat animal poop. Decomposers complete the food chain. Fungi and bacteria are examples. Bacteria are tiny living things. You can only see them through a microscope. Fungi are living things too. Like bacteria, fungi are not plants or animals. Mushrooms are fungi. These decomposers turn organic wastes into inorganic materials. For example, they turn decaying plants into soil. Decomposers complete the cycle of life. They return nutrients to the soil or oceans for use by autotrophs. This starts a whole new food chain. Different food chains in each habitat. Different habitats and ecosystems provide many possible food chains. Altogether, these chains make up a food web. In one underwater food chain, phytoplankton provide food for tiny shrimp called krill. Krill are the main food source for the blue whale. The whale is on the third trophic level. In a grassland ecosystem, a grasshopper might eat grass, a producer. The grasshopper might get eaten by a rat. Then the rat is swallowed by a snake. Finally, a hawk swoops down and snatches up the snake. The hawk is the top predator.